Okay, so listen to this. It is definitely one of the best kept secrets in Northeast Ohio. It's Cleveland's own Museum of Natural History. Yeah, it's wonderful. They, they did a lot of major renovations mm -hmm. this year. At the same time, it's been, of course, welcoming families from all over to learn about our world and our wildlife. It's awesome. And yeah. now we are enjoying a wonderful late night chance at the museum that's really going to be fun. It's called Owls and Howls. And we welcome Jim Nemet. He's a friend of Fox 8 and also the director of Wildlife. And of course, Sam too. And Sam, yeah, yeah, Sam is helping you? out too. It's Thanks. so good to see you, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you brought along some critters. I did. So we have Stanley. He is one of our striped skunks, Stanley. and he will be participating in the Owls and Howls events. He participates in our current science yeah, program, but uh, we weren't sure how he would do on your table. Right, we didn't right. want to make a mess, so we brought carpet, and he's a little bit hesitant. So we put some of his favorite foods out. If he decides to come out, oh, oh, he's coming. and if he yeah. doesn't, there then he no goes. big deal. He says, I'll um, take that. We don't make the animals do anything they don't want right. to do, so sure. we simply ask him to come out, and if he does, He'll get some of his favorite he treats and look oh, cool. And uh, Aww, he's beautiful. So he has been at the museum since uh, 2015, and he was a rescue. Oh. Same thing with the owl here. The owl has a wing injury that it could not be released oh, back yeah. into the wild, yeah. and that's the where we get a lot of our animals from. They're rehabilitated, but wouldn't be able to survive in the wild. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually just got a female uh, striped skunk in who's in our quarantine area. She is missing an eye. She was caught in a snap trap. <gasps> and oh. she wouldn't be able to find her way yeah. out in nature, so she's going to live with us, and we're going to take care You're, of her forever. You do an amazing job. Yeah. Now, this one, is his name The Professor? This is The Professor. The oh, Professor. Yeah, the Professor. I've never seen such a tiny little the, owl. He's he so is, cute. Actually, it's a girl, and oh, she, she is full-grown about one-fourth of a pound. Oh, really? She's so that darling. is as big, about six years old, has a wing injury, yeah. um, came to the museum in 2016 as an adult. Yeah. So, uh, so they live here in Ohio. They do. They're here. actually the most plentiful owl in Ohio. Really? They're just very small, reclusive. Uh, they live in hollowed out trees that other animals might have left their mm -hmm. holes, and they'll go in there and hide. Um, but yeah, they're the, the so smallest, cute. but also the biggest number. And uh, voracious eater. They'll eat anything from earthworms up to small birds. So oh, wow. um, anything that they can catch at night. And Stan, he's an omnivore, so he's got his fruits and veggies. He's right, got his right. biscuits. He's got some meat in there. He loves earthworms too. And he smells great, by the he way. He smells great. He is yeah. descented. Yeah. He's so, not stinky. Um, when they come to the museum, we remove that little scent gland yeah. so that uh, guests don't have to run around when he's lifting <laughs> his tail. <laughs> right, right. Or be nervous, right? Like, but uh, like... they're going to both participate. So to, this coming Friday is kind of a dual event. It starts our Friday night lights where the museum is going to be open until 8 o'clock. Oh, and great. we're going to keep that going on select weekends or Fridays all the way through the rest of the year. Good. And then this Friday, we're taking our Owls and Howls, which is usually one day, and we're making it three days. So we're starting at Friday night, 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock. And then Saturday and Sunday, all day, we're going to do events. We're going to have pumpkins where I heard you guys talking about the, the pie pumpkins. Right, right. We're going to let guests decorate those, and then we're going to okay. give them to all the animals because the animals oh, they'll eat love them. the pumpkins. Eat them. They'll yeah. eat them. They'll play in them. The, the snakes will crawl through them. So we're cool. going to let guests decorate them, and then we're going to give them to animals. Probably not at that moment, yeah. but um, we will keep it. What a great opportunity, though, for families who may not have the time during the day. Yeah. To be able to go to come experience yeah. this in a nighttime thing, and they can go to the planetarium. They can do all these mm -hmm. other things. Right, too. right. Well, the planetarium is not open for a couple more weeks, but okay, we're going to open up the Ralph Mueller Observatory on Friday night, oh, yeah, so you can okay. come out and look at the stars. That's what. I, yeah. Um, that's that right. telescope is amazing, yeah. and uh, we well, got and you have some. a big thing for costumes this weekend. We costumes, do. coyotes, costumes, coyote, and owls, curators, owls. right? Yep. So what's that? Yep, yep. So um, that is the owls and howls. We want everybody all weekend to wear costumes. Okay. And we have special talks going on. We have the pumpkins. We have a. Uh, um, special spooky um, photo frame to do. Oh, so cute. just lots and lots of activities. Stuff, yeah. And then animals all over the place. Sam, talk about these animals and all the cute critters here. <laughs> oh, I love it. Are I you mean, in heaven? I'm in heaven there. It's, it's very fun there. Um, and, you know, it's just really cool to learn more about the animals in your backyard. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody I see who meets a professor, what is this owl? Where yeah. is this owl from? I said it's from Ohio. And, Crazy. you know, it's a native species here, and it's just really cool to get up close to them. And what yeah. a great expansion of the facility to have more animals mm -hmm. and to be able to see them at all the different angles and the, you know, the bridges that you guys mm -hmm. have. Yeah, it's so, gorgeous. Know, cool.
Yep. Yeah. The wildlife area is amazing outside, yeah. and then we are with the transformation in the next couple of years, we will get a brand new animal resource center inside as well. Oh. So new housing, new facilities yeah. for preparing diets and everything inside. So the museum is so, really taking care of the animals and the staff that we have. And then when guests see it in a couple of years, it is going to be so amazing. Well, we know Kenny Crumpton can't wait to yeah. show Good. everyone, yes. too, because yes. we love having you guys in studio with all the animals, but also it's great having Kenny there to really show us what you do. And as you yeah. mentioned, too, the bridges. It's, it's oh, so it's a, it, yeah. cool. It's, a, it's, it's an so amazing neat. facility. Mm -hmm. If you haven't been, you should go. Yep. I want to of squeeze her. Will Friday she let me lights. squeeze her? Uh, you can just go ahead. Right I want to just snuggle. I'll talk about the Friday Night Lights, of course, hey, every Friday through awesome. December 16th, except November 11th, by the way, too, and then they're going to have all kinds of different Aww. things. So fox8.com, uh, we'll get you a link over to the Museum of Natural History. Okay, she is so cute. Yeah. Feel her. <laughs> oh, 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 she's Yeah, there you go. Tail Todd, up. tail up. <laughs>